Okay, guys, welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, today, we're tackling Leah. We are going to get past that uh, common Duramax flaky piece of shit issue that they have. I'll show you. And that little guy right there is exactly what I'm talking about. That leaky, 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 piss poor piece of shit design that uh I, I, i'm not gonna lie that that right there that strikes a serious nerve and i say me. that because uh i've already rebuilt that unit with a genuine merchant uh filter rebuild kit well come to find out when i was taking that thing apart um it's an aftermarket unit it's not a genuine gm piece so there's that um also i did make a video on it but because this microphone here is a piece of shit and it likes to pick up static noise part way through which is why you constantly see the clips of me flipping it around it rather than just turning and talking anyway neither here nor there i'm gonna get everything set up let's roll the intro and we'll pick up from there All right, we got that old disgusting unit out of there. Good thing that I've uh, taken this thing apart recently. Look at that, it's juicy. It's juicy, it's disgusting. It's fucking irritating too. Because again, I had this thing rebuilt, it was doing good, and uh, now it's not. And I'm kind of glad that the weather's nice because this thing's pissing off my return rates. Uh, the other thing that's nice too, though, is that Lola has the Merchant Automotive uh, filter housing spacer on her. So that means when we go to do filters on Leah later in life, it'll be a hell of a lot easier. And, you know, and the other nice thing about this is that this is a, a new uh, GM unit. This got replaced uh, a few years ago. So I shouldn't have to worry about anything on it. Holds pressure just great. Like I said, we got the merchant uh, filter spacer here. That's right. Um, so heater's new, water and fuel sensor is newer. Uh, we did put a brand new unit on Leah. So we're gonna end up keeping her old unit and using that one, you know, harvesting it for parts. Um, but anyway, that's enough gabbing. Let's, uh, let's throw this bad Oscar in there. We got her. She's back together. No leaks. No loping. She's happy. Uh, I'm happy. This thing is a fucking life changer. 
life changer because I don't have to keep walking in there. It's nice. So let's uh, let's take a closer look. But like I said, we're all back together. Uh, we even got our merchant spacer in there again, which I keep I keep talking about this because it, it does make a huge difference when you're switching filters. This thing is a pain in the ass to do without it. Now don't get me wrong, it can be done. I've done it. It just it's not it's not as easy as it could be. And in my brain, I know it's easy. This isn't easy, and it frustrates me. But this this engine bay, man, it is crammed compared to Lola. And she's got bigger pieces. So I think I think this summer what we're gonna do, because we're gonna be parking her and driving the LMM, um, I think we're gonna take her apart, clean everything up, get it all painted up, looking nice, clean up the hardware, and I seize it that way when we do repairs, it goes that much quicker. And because I know this video is shorter already, there's not a whole lot of action, I do wanna talk for a minute, which I know you guys love it when I talk. Aren't you just thrilled? Um, see that rust on the bed? Um, I bought a new bed for the truck. Best part is, same color, and it's local. I already paid for it. I actually, I paid for it um, a week ago. Um, I paid for it the day that I did the roll cart assembly when I put that together. So it's been yeah, about a week now. Yeah, that was last weekend. So we've been waiting for the ground to harden up just a little bit because we are putting Sally, our six speed back on the road. The wife is tired of the car and frankly, I can't blame her. And we're gonna be bringing up Miss Lana here shortly too, because we're gonna be getting her ready for the summer season. And thanks to our girl here and her thunder chunkiness, you can see how tore up the ground is. Um, I actually wanted that to happen. I wanted that to happen. That way I can take that with a shovel and I can just kind of regrade it. Um, there's no foundation left in this driveway, so we got to report. But anyway, we're not talking driveways. We're talking our girl Leah. Also, this fender, this fender was a temporary fix. It's uh, pretty well rotted out, which is why the fender flare is not staying on anymore. Uh, we're getting the same color fender as well. It's in better shape. I don't think it's perfect. I think it does have some rust on it, but... At this point, beggars can't be choosers. It's a goddamn plow truck. But at least my bed will look fire. So later this week, we'll be taking Leah out back, and we're going to be hooking her up to the trailer. Um, and we're going to be taking off to go get our bed. Thankfully, it's 15 minutes up the road from here, so it's not far. So be on the lookout for that video. Somebody's bawling. Um... But anyway, that's that's all I got for you guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Help a brother out, man. I got rust. Help me out. Get them analytics going. I'm <laughs> just fucking with you. Anyway, take care, guys. God bless. Be good to one another, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.